my series on Dollar Tree jewelry gift ideas. In this video, I'll show you another wire wrapping technique for wrapping this bronze and gold painted glass stone. For this piece, I'll be using a large glass Dollar Tree gem, metallic acrylic paint, bronze color copper wire 18 gauge, and a set of jewelry making tools, round nose plier, needle nose pliers, and side cutters. You can get these from Walmart or any craft store. To make my bronze painting stone, I'm using a large clear gem. And with a small brush, I'm dabbing on a little gold metallic paint. Now I'm adding some bronze in different areas. I'm going to turn that around to see what it's looking like. I want this to be sort of an artsy piece. So I'm just going to put bronze in a few areas. I think I'll also add a little silver. Then I'm going to swirl the paint around a little to give it a marbleized look. So after the paint dries, I'm going to stick this in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 to cure it. This will make it more permanent so that the paint won't scratch off. And after the paint is completely dry, it comes out of the oven and it's got a nice metallic look with bronze and silver and gold swirls. I did also put a little clear polish on the back, nail polish to make it shiny like the front. And I let that dry. So now I'm ready to wrap this piece. I'm using this bronze copper wire. And this piece is on a thicker side. It is 18 gauge. Now this wrap I hadn't seen before. I saw it on YouTube and I'm going to leave a link for that. I'm not sure if it's a standard wrap or if she created that. So I'll just leave a link to her video. But I'm going to cut a piece of wire that's about 24 inches. Then I'm going to bow this in the middle. And I'm going to use my round nose pliers and wrap the wire in the center right around the top widest part of the round part of the pliers. And then underneath that I'm going to twist the wires together. I'm doing a long twist to is about two, two and a half inches. So I'm going to have to measure it against the stone. I'm going to take it off and put it against the stone because I want the circle to be in the middle of the front of the stone and I want it to wrap around with enough room for a t fingertip space at the top and I want the twist to go all the way down to the bottom of the stone in the back. So I see I'm going to have to do a little more twisting. Okay, so now that's about right. And the line of twist goes just a little above the bottom. So what I'm going to do now is just hold this in place. And I'm going to take the two bottom pieces, wrap them around to the front. And I am going to thread the pieces through that little loop in the center. So it goes in and up to the side. I need to put this back in position, make sure it stays in the right position with that wire space at the top. And that wire goes off to the side. I'm going to thread the other one through the center. And that one up and off to the other side. Now I'm going to position the wires so that the bottom two are at an angle away from each other and the top two are also at an angle going off to the top sides. So that it looks like this. So now I'm just going to curve one of the pieces around the back so that it kind of bows down and then I'm going to wrap the wire once around the neck. Then I'm going to do the same with the other piece. I'm going to sort of bow it down around and then wrap that once around the neck. 
and I'm just going to alternate wrapping it around each piece a couple of times. until it looks like this with still enough space at the top for a necklace to go through. Now these wires I am going to cut really close in the center, in the back, and I'm going to use the tool to curve those end pieces inward. And I'm flattening those wires to make them neat. And I'm going to turn to the back and crimp the pieces by the shoulder down to make it nice and tight and fit really snug. And now it's all done and ready to hang from a necklace. And I really like this. It's a really simple wrap, but it makes a bold statement. Hey guys, check out my Etsy store where you can get some of the very projects made on this show. And for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. With all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show. And you can add them all to your cart for the one-click fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.